$5,000, are you crazy? I mean, just look at this piece. I just wanna take it home with me. Like, just hug it. Just, I love it. Hello everyone and welcome back to Canon Computers where you can find the latest and greatest in tech. AMD has just released the newest line of 3D VCast processors and now that the embargo is lifted, we can finally test and show it off for you all at home. So what better way to do that than to do benchmarks so you can see firsthand the prowess and miraculous 3D VCast technology in this overview. And it kind of gives us a good reason to build a beastly PC while we're at it. And yes, it's been a while since the last 5800X 3D was the talk of the town when it came to gaming, especially when compared to the newest generation. And although some of you have been waiting for something to convince you to upgrade to the newest generation, AMD has made big claims to help you make that decision easier for you. So we brought our trusted technician to help build a testing rig. Not just any rig, but we decked this custom PC with a 32 gigabyte Kingston Fury DDR5 RAM, a gigabyte 4090, 250 gigabytes of Samsung SSD, NZXT X63 CPU cooler, a Corsair HX1000 power supply, Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Hero, and a beautiful Lian Li Lancool 216 PC case to hold all of it together. Coming to almost $5,000. $5,000, are you crazy? I mean, just look at this piece. I just wanna take it home with me. Like, just hug it, just, I love it. But to keep this benchmark fair, we've built one unit. This unit will have all the necessary things to run modern benchmark programs and some of the newest AAA games. This is to keep all the variables the same. Same GPU, same memory, same motherboard. So really all we're doing is switching out the CPU and reapplying the thermal paste in each test for us to record the results. And no, we won't be doing any overclocking since results will always tend to vary depending on your rig. But a clean score with no additional measures should give both you and us a proper gauge of the power of Vcash and how it's supposed to provide for the newest generation. And once all that is done, we'll do more intensive gaming on the Corsair Xenon Flex that we have from Corsair. Hopefully we'll be able to make a video on that soon for everyone at home. Before we get further, we want to thank AMD for providing us with the CPUs for this test. And everyone, go hit that subscribe button. I know you want to, just do it. Zoom up on me. Just do it, zoom, zoom. Now back to our benchmark test. First, we'll test 7900X. Then switch to 7900X 3D. And just because we can, thanks to AMD, we'll do a last test with the 7950X 3D, just so you can really see the difference between all of them. Each CPU will undergo a Cinebench test just so we can see the computational power. But keep in mind, we aren't expecting such crazy scores. If anything, they might be suboptimal compared to the regular 7 series, just like the 5800X 3D did in its own test. Since the processors are in fact meant for gaming primarily, it won't give us a full picture until we do a full gaming test. Once the Cinebench test is over and done with, we'll move on to Forza Horizon's internal benchmark tool. With our first test on Cinebench, we record a score of 28,069 on the 7900X in the multi-core test and 2006 in the single core test. 25,049 and 1660 on the 7900X 3D and lastly 34,310 and 1707 on the 7950X 3D. So now that we can move on from the Cinebench score to the gaming scores under Forza Horizon internal benchmarking, you can see that the 7900X performance is about 355 SPS in the CPU simulation, 219 in the CPU render, and 112 on GPU. Keep in mind, all the figures we found were under ultra settings at 1080p. Then the 7900X 3D scores 438, 229, and 108 respectively, which is already a 21% increase. And finally, the 7950X 3D scored 478, 240 and 106, which is already an 11% increase from the 7900X 3D and a 35% increase from the original 7900X. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Finally, our verdict. The Ryzen 3D VCAF processors definitely live up to the hype. The additional L3 cache provided by the 3D VCAF technology delivers impressive performance gains, especially in applications that rely heavily on memory access. 
If you're a content creator or a gamer looking for the best performance possible, the Ryzen 7 950X and the Ryzen 7 900X with 3D VCAS is definitely worth considering. And through our testing we've done on these three CPUs, you can clearly see the advantage you have when using 3D VCAS processors and how it can level up your gaming to a whole nother level. And if you like what you saw here today, be sure to describe, it'll help us out a ton. Be sure to leave a like and comment down below on your thoughts. Just a reminder, we are doing a giveaway for all customers who write a review on their most recent purchase at CanadaCreators.com for a chance to win a brand new 65 inch TV. Yes, 65 inches. Till next time, and I'll see you all in the next video.